the four key pharmaceutical water measurements with real-time continuous monitoring to help you ensure regulatory compliance. Pharmacopial requirements for water purity are more stringent than ever. Initiatives such as process analytical technology and quality by design challenge life science companies to achieve true process control, emphasizing the importance of real-time measurement. Why is conductivity measurement critical? USP 645 requires uncompensated conductivity and temperature measurements to determine the final water quality, whereas USP 644 and 1644 recommend the use of compensated conductivity and temperature measurements for process control. A digital conductivity sensor can record both compensated and uncompensated conductivity as well as temperature on a single sensor to meet all requirements. Why is online continuous TOC measurement important? Safeguarding water quality at points of use with rapid identification of total organic carbon excursions is critical. Online continuous flow TOC sensors ensure that even brief excursions will not be missed. What does the USP recommend to avoid microbial contamination? USP 1231 recommends that pharmaceutical water systems be monitored for microbial contamination at a frequency that ensures the system is both in control and continues to produce water of acceptable quality. Implementing a rapid microbial detection method parallel to plate counts can minimize risk and delays while waiting for grab sample results. Why dissolved ozone is essential to pharma water systems? Dissolved ozone effectively destroys organics and rapidly disinfects. And unlike other disinfection methods, dissolved ozone leaves no trace after its exposure to UV light. Therefore, it complies with the no added substances rule, making dissolved ozone measurement essential for both process control and compliance. Mettler Toledo is the only supplier to offer the four critical parameters, regulatory expertise, and a multi-parameter data integrity software tool to help you ensure your pharmaceutical water is in compliance. And even in drinking water. Maybe you've been told you don't need to go to the pharmacy anymore. Why, there's a pharmaceutical cocktail coming right out of your tap. You may have even heard the rumor that pharmaceuticals in drinking water are making men less manly than they used to be. So what of all this is true? Pharmaceuticals have indeed been detected in the environment and in drinking water. However, the stories about medicines in tap water affecting people's health are baseless and far from the facts. But what are the facts? Detection methods have improved enormously, and we can now measure substances at levels up to 1,000 times lower than we could only 15 years ago. And yes, these improvements have shown that drinking water sometimes contains very low concentrations of pharmaceuticals. So, how low? Well, if you wanted to consume the 400 milligrams of a typical ibuprofen pill, you would have to drink around 200 million litres of tap water, which makes about 40 Olympic-sized swimming pools. There still are knowledge gaps on this topic, but in 2012, the World Health Organization concluded that at current levels, appreciable adverse impacts on human health are very unlikely. So, as far as drugs are concerned, your drinking water is safe. But there are risks related to pharmaceuticals in water for animals in rivers and lakes. For instance, female hormones in the pill contribute to feminization of male wild fish, and low concentrations of an anti-anxiety drug have affected the behavior of carp, making them less social and eat faster, which makes them more vulnerable to predators. The unpredictability of these effects was shown in Asia. Vultures ate corpses of cows treated with diclofenac and died as a result. Populations fell by over 90%. So clearly, it's a good idea to reduce the input of pharmaceuticals into the environment. But how do human drugs get into the environment in the first place? When you apply medication on your skin, part of it will always wash off. And when you take drugs, some is absorbed or changed by your body, while some is excreted unchanged. It all ends up in the wastewater treatment plant. There are around 3,000 pharmaceutical compounds on the market, and treatment plants deal well with some and not so well with others. So some drugs always make it into the rivers, and some remain in the treatment sludge, which is often used as fertilizer in agriculture. And what is being done about this? 
Research is closing knowledge gaps such as the long-term impacts of low drug concentrations and the European Union has started to regulate the issue. But you can also help by doing three simple things. First, never dispose of unused medications in the toilet. Second, ask your pharmacist how to dispose of unused or expired medications. In many countries, they're collected from the pharmacies and burned at high temperatures. And third, you should avoid exaggerated self-medication. Better just take medicines when the doctor tells you to. Remember, pharmaceuticals leave our bodies and may have a larger impact on the world. In this, we are going to discuss about type of water, then method of its preparation, then pyrogen, whether it is pyrogen free or not, and then comment on that particular type of water. So here we go. The first type of water is purified water, which is prepared by distillation and ion exchange method. Ke और इसके अंदर पायरोजन प्रेजेंट नहीं होते पायरोजन होते क्या है एक फीवर कॉजिंग एजेंट्स होते हैं जो वाटर में प्रेजेंट होते हैं या फिर एब्सेंट होते हैं तो प्यूरीफाइड वाटर में बेसिकली ये पायरोजन एब्सेंट होते हैं और ये प्यूरीफाइड वाटर यूज किया जाता है एज अ फार्मास्यूटिकल सॉल्वेंट तो जो भी फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्रीज होती है उसके अंदर जो भी सॉल्वेंट यूज किया जाता है उसमें प्यूरीफाइड वाटर भी होता है तो ये फार्मास्यूटिकल सॉल्वेंट के लिए यूज किया जाता है द नेक्स्ट इज वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन तो ये वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन यू प्रिपेयर किया जाता है थ्रू डिस्टिलेशन और रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस और इसके अंदर पायरोजन प्रेजेंट होते हैं और ये नॉन स्टेरल होता है दैट्स वाई इट इज़ यूज विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और इसे स्टोर करने के लिए मिनिमम फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस का टेम्परेचर होना चाहिए बिलो फाइव डिग्री होना चाहिए द नेक्स्ट इज स्टेराइल वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन जो हमने पहले डिस्कस किया वो नॉन स्टेराइल था अब ये स्टेराइल वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन है जो सेम प्रिपेयर किया जाता है बाय डिस्टिलेशन और रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस और इसके अंदर भी पायरोजन प्रेजेंट्स होते हैं और ये सेम एज वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन तो ये भी विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स के अंदर आपको यूज करना पड़ता है और बिलो फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस के अंदर आपको स्टोर करना पड़ता है सो दिस इज अबाउट द स्टेराइल वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन द नेक्स्ट इज बैक्टीरियोस्टैटिक वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन तो ये भी रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस और डिस्टिलेशन के थ्रू प्रिपेयर किया जाता है इसके अंदर भी पायरोजन प्रेजेंट्स होते हैं और ये मल्टीपल एंड सिंगल डोज उसके प्रिपरेशन में वो बैक्टीरियोस्टैटिक वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन यूज किया जाता है अब इसका सिग्निफिकेंस ये है कि ये बैक्टीरियोस्टैटिक है यानी कि अगर बैक्टीरिया प्रेजेंट होता है प्रिपरेशन में तो उसकी ग्रोथ ये स्टॉप कर देगा दैट्स वाई इट इज बैक्टीरियोस्टैटिक वाटर फॉर इंजेक्शन So this is all about types of water. Thank you. Substances in medicine designed to treat illness are known as active pharmaceutical ingredients or APIs. These APIs are designed to be biologically active in the humans and animals that take them, but they can also have unintended effects on other species when present in the environment. Pharmaceuticals can enter the environment at all stages in their life cycle. Unfortunately, oral doses of pharmaceuticals are never metabolized completely. Between 30 and 90% can be excreted as an active substance in urine. Even low amounts of APIs in the environment can have far-reaching effects in ecosystems because water sewage systems are unable to filter them out. This means that pharmaceuticals can ultimately end up in our drinking water. Over 600 pharmaceuticals or their transformation products have been detected in 71 countries on all continents. Pharmaceutical residues entering water systems can spread to surface waters, agricultural land and accumulate in vegetables and fish. Through water, soil and feeding on medicated livestock, animals and other organisms can be exposed to pharmaceuticals and experience behavioral, psychological and other effects in their cells and tissues. Humans can also be exposed to pharmaceutical residues by consuming contaminated water and food. Waste in the environment from the manufacture of one type of pharmaceutical in particular, antibiotics, is a reservoir for antimicrobial resistance or AMR. AMR occurs when microbes become resistant to antimicrobial drugs, leading to ineffective treatments and persistent infections. We all have a role to play in reducing the amount of pharmaceuticals in the environment. It is important that we understand the impact of pharmaceutical pollution and we demand that governments act to ensure pharmaceutical companies clean up their production chains. Governments must act to protect us and our families from this global threat to public health and the environment.
The pharmaceutical industry is responsible for its manufacturing waste released into the environment and subsequent contamination. By producing APIs outside of Europe, many pharmaceutical companies have outsourced the problem. The pharmaceutical industry is uniquely placed to tackle the source of the problem by taking basic steps such as implementing higher manufacturing standards, ensuring zero discharge from production, producing different size medicine packs, developing benign pharmaceuticals that rapidly biodegrade into harmless compounds. Medical professionals, as trusted members of our society, can also play a major role in preventing pharmaceutical pollution by optimizing prescription practices, educating patients to prevent the misuse and overuse of medicines, informing patients how to follow the correct therapy of antibiotic drugs, advising patients about the safe disposal of medicines. Patients can also help to reduce pharmaceutical pollution by never disposing of unused or expired drugs in the toilet or sink, only buying over-the-counter medicine when needed, not stockpiling medicines that cannot be used before expiring, never taking antibiotics without medical advice. Share this video and let others know about this cause. Together, we can protect public health and the environment.